Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. TravelCostaRicaNow.com is a travel agency. Why would you want nameless, faceless people from call centers in India putting together your travel package? We're like you having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. There, I said it. Man, this is important. I probably should have done this video a long time ago. And when I tell you how, uh, what it is, you're going to kind of first go, well, that's commonsensical, Michael. We know that, but you know what? You don't know the backstory. You may not know why it's more important than you even think. And I think I might have something else that you didn't think of as well. So stay tuned. So it is the only thing besides maybe getting your passport, obviously, that you have to do before moving to Costa Rica. But first, before that, I want to tell you some of the things you don't have to do before moving to Costa Rica, contrary to some people's belief. All right, one is you don't have to you don't have to secure a place to stay over the internet, a rental. You don't have to do that. Now, I understand why you might want to do that. I mean, you're coming into the unknown. Maybe you have your town or city picked out. You want to get off the plane and have some place to go that's yours. You're going to be paying top dollar. You do it on the internet. I have videos on how to find places. You should check them out. All right, so you don't have to do that before coming down. You also don't need to buy your property before you come down here. Anybody telling you that this is the last lot available or you better buy now before coming and then you'll be ready. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know it seems obvious, but it's not. Don't buy property before coming, before moving here. Uh, you don't need to think about a, a Costa Rican bank account. You're probably not going to get one anyway. It's very hard to do unless you have your residency. I actually did get a bank account before my residency. And that just tells you about the hues of gray living in Costa Rica. I got one and a lot of people can't until they get rid of the residency, but don't doesn't doesn't matter. Um, you also don't need to apply for your residency prior to you coming down here. Why would you do that? And I challenge any uh, residency lawyer or anybody that helps people through the process of getting their residency, you know, shame on you for scaring people into thinking they need to do that ASAP. You know that's not true. And if you think it's true, I challenge you, let's make a video and we'll have a little debate on the subject and we'll let the people decide, okay? You know it's not right. All right, you also don't have to worry about uh, uh, your Costa Rica driver's license. You don't need it. I'm thinking just like your passport, you probably already have a driver's license, or at least you should. All right. The number one thing you totally, positively must do before moving to Costa Rica is to secure a bank account. A bank account. And I'm going to tell you why it's way important a little bit later. But what you want to try to do now, I, I understand it's not always feasibly, monetarily speaking, to have a bunch of different bank accounts. I mean, I, I know enough about the U.S. banking that there's fees for not having enough money, some rates are better than others. All that, I get it. But if you, as a single person, or you as you and another person, you should try to get two separate bank accounts from two separate banks. Yes, two separate banks, two separate accounts. I also think you should uh, have a meeting with the manager or the powers that be and tell them exactly what you're doing. You're going to be in Costa Rica or spending a lot of time in Costa Rica and let them know that. Maybe you get something in writing if you can. Okay, now the other thing you might, the, I think you should do, even though you, maybe you think you don't need it or shouldn't, I think you should get a PayPal account. Now, it doesn't have to be PayPal. I'm not, I'm not promoting PayPal, but a PayPal type of platform that you can charge people over the internet, you can receive monies over the internet. Um, I think you just might be surprised how you might use that. And just a real quick story, a lot of people don't have PayPal here. They can't get their PayPal accounts here because they have to go back to the United States. And they asked me and D'Angelo 
to actually be their PayPal. Like, can you build this person uh, money? They'll give it to you, then I'll pay you for your fee. No, I won't do that. But you'd be surprised how many people ask us to do that. And then for you, you may need it down the line. Maybe you start a little business. Maybe you sell tours on the side. Who knows? But it's just a, a, a good thing to have. Now, why is this so important? I'm going to tell you why. Okay, 14 years ago, we came here. D'Angelo had Bank of America. He had, had been with them since he was a teenager. He had a history with them. No problem. And you need to know that up front. He had no problems paying his fees. There was no issues that way. We get He gets an email and it says, Dear D'Angelo, you have 30 days to clear out your account. We're closing it. And we're like, what? 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 What's going on? Now, we didn't know, because they don't have to tell you why, right? We didn't know that. So we Googled this, and we found out that this is not an exception. They, banks can do this at any time they want. They can just close your account. Uh, no question, n nothing answered. They don't get to tell you nothing, and that's what they did. We assumed, since we knew we didn't do anything wrong, like legally or with the account, that it was something to do with Costa Rica, maybe money laundering, or they suspected something. They said, well, we don't even want to mess with this, so we're just going to close you down. Can you hear that? I love these cars, man, with their big, loud speakers. Do you hear that? Ah, uh, they're talking about the grocery store, the mega super. <laughs> All right, so what happened was we had... Me and D'Angelo had gotten a PayPal account almost when PayPal started years ago. So we had a PayPal account, but we needed a bank account. For some reason, I can't remember why, but I didn't have a bank account. So time goes by. So in 2013, we went to Japan, and on our way back, I went to see my mom in Maine with the plans of getting a bank account. She took me to her bank. I did all, filled everything out. I did not misinform them. I told them exactly what I was doing. I told them I was in Costa Rica. I have a travel business. I did everything that I was supposed to do, and they knew it. I got my bank account. It was great. So I come back. We're using the bank account. No problem. There's no issue. Six months down the road, uh, they write me an email, and they say, Michael, call us at this time. We need to talk to you. It wasn't India. It was actually the bank. So it was a person I was kind of had a little semi-relationship with. So they said, Mike, uh, we got a little problem. We need to prove how you're getting your money, where it's going and everything. And I said, well, I told you we have a travel business. So what I had to do is I had to copy my itineraries, which I had my travel packages. That's how we made the money. So I had the itineraries and all the numbers on the itineraries for charges and tours and hotels and blah, blah, blah. I had to copy that, give it to them. And they, they got it, and they said, great, Mike, thank you so much. We totally understand what you're doing. Great. Everything is fine. I said, cool. Approximately six months later, maybe a little longer, I'm not sure. Again, Mike, call us at this time. We need to talk. I call them again. Same thing. Same thing. I go, well, I thought we already... He's like, I know, but the, you know, the people above me, they want this, and you got to do it again. I did it again. I got all the itineraries together, sent it to him. I even said, at this time, I, I know the guy that I'm talking to. I said, man, we have a YouTube channel. We have a Facebook. We have a website. You can see exactly what we do. And he's like, Mike, I get it. Now, okay, I have, have a better understanding. I sent the papers in. He, he tells me again, Mike, everything is fine. Thank you so much for doing that. I know it's a problem. Great. Two thumbs up now. So I don't know if it was a year later, approximately around that time, I get an email. We're not talking anymore. I guess we lost the relationship somewhere. Michael, you got 30 days. Clear out your account. We're closing it. That's it. And again, there was no untoward behavior going on by, you know, me. Everything was legit on the up and up and nothing was sketchy. They just closed it. So you see the problem? And we're not the exception. It happened in D'Angelo. They didn't even know we were connected. So I just think it's important to secure whatever bank account. I think you should try to get into two banks if it's feasible for you and your situation. And if you have a partner you're coming with, I think they should be in a separate bank 
getting their account and you should have yours in your account. I think you both should sign up for PayPal. You do not want to be caught with no bank account down here because it's hard to get one here nowadays unless you have your residency and, and you don't need your residency right away. You got two, three years to that. Don't worry about it. Once you have your bank account and there's a bunch of ways I know you're going to write and go, Mike, here's how we get our money. I know there's a bunch of different ways. I know people that uh, use their stockbroker to do it. I, I get all that. I'm just telling you, secure it. A lot of 20-somethings that come here and like uh, 30, you know, low 30s, they're not thinking about the banking. So if you're watching this, you millennials or whatever, it's serious. You don't want to be down here without a bank account. I'm Michael Allen. TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. I know it helped. You may not know it helped, but I guarantee it helped. <laughs> Ciao.